With the nation's daily virus tally surpassing the 4,000 mark, authorities review implementing an emergency plan in the capital region. They're also looking to expand home treatment to secure more hospital beds for the severely ill. Chen Minjung gets us up to speed with the developments. Another new record for COVID-19 cases. With infections and the number of critically ill patients spiking, especially in the capital region, South Korea's Prime Minister on Wednesday said the government might have to implement emergency plans for the area if the situation doesn't improve. The virus situation is more serious than we had expected. According to risk levels announced on Monday, the nationwide threat level was at high while the metropolitan area was at very high. If you just look at the capital region, we may have to urgently review the emergency plan at any time. Kim stressed that it is crucial to restore hospital bed capacity for the critically ill in the capital region. Currently, over 83 percent of the ICU beds are occupied in the capital area, with more than 770 people on the waiting list. As one of the ways to secure more beds, he called for a restructuring of how hospital beds are used, including an expansion of at-home treatment. Although at-home treatment is a major pillar of medical response, it has not yet been properly implemented. Last week, the proportion of home care patients was less than 20 percent, and it actually decreased compared to the previous week. If everyone who has mild or asymptomatic symptoms occupy a bed, the lives of patients who need intensive treatment will be threatened because they will not be able to get hospitalized. Authorities are aiming to ramp up booster shots for the elderly, as infections among seniors contribute to an increase in the number of severely ill patients, eventually leading to a shortage of hospital beds. The government is also looking into setting an expiration date for vaccine passes and expanding vaccine pass mandates for teenagers as well. Officials will be meeting on Thursday to discuss whether to strengthen current antivirus measures. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.